I started working, I've worked for a couple of companies uh, where it became a necessity. Uh, one company had gone into uh, bankruptcy and as a middle manager I was uh, forced from that event on a team to look for ways to reduce costs. Uh, a second job where I served as a middle manager for a large savings and loan, it uh, was a part of my job to evaluate departments uh, and to make recommendations to achieve that end. Uh, I was also uh, a graduate student. Uh, upon finishing graduate school and, and being successful in those two uh, endeavors, I discovered that uh, there was no way to, for anyone else to have learned that information unless they had first-hand experience. Mm. Uh, most of us don't choose to have that experience, and, and most of us never do. So uh, <laughs> um, uh, I, I thought it would be great to share that with others. For small businesses, or even for managers within large companies uh, that have a small segment, there are many things that people do every day that they just ignore. They don't, it, it just seems to be something that is not to be managed. For example, the lighting. Mm -hmm. uh, if they were to pay attention and understand that of the electric dollar, of your lighting dollar, five cents is spent on the lamp. That's where most of the people spend their time thinking what kind of bulb to put in, the cheapest one. Mm -hmm. uh, 80 cents of their dollar is spent on electricity. Mm -hmm. And 15 cents on labor to change the lamp or do other maintenance. If they were to reevaluate that, as small as a business is, uh, even if it had four employees or the like, I think that's where the break-even point is before it becomes significant, uh, they would change out their lamps, going to a smaller lamp, which cuts down on heat, mm -hmm. takes less electricity, and therefore also reduces an air conditioning expense and reduces the lighting expense. They would change their ballast from magnetic to electric. That would reduce electric consumption. They would find what a lot of contractors won't tell them, and that is to cut back the number of fixtures that they use. A lot of people light very heavily areas that are not used to work in, but are mm -hmm. used to walk through. Mm -hmm. They could cut back on the number of fixtures and do some dramatic and even rather uh, uh, enlightening from an, agri uh, from an architectural perspective uh, on a structure and make it appear to be much more glamorous or desirable than was intended because the real intent was to save money. Yes, a lot of people believe that the company owes them mm -hmm. this thing, bottled water, plants, whatever it is. And in some cases, an employee believes that a company is making a lot of money, uh, 30, 50 percent, and that they can afford it. Mm -hmm. Not realizing that really a company, a good company, makes three or four percent after taxes. And at every little part of a percent, can be the difference when they're all added up between success and failure of a company. Right. Um, in that context then, if an employee doesn't want to sacrifice, but a middle manager or an owner of a small business wishes to and feels that the sacrifice will not be given just by asking for it, mm -hmm. you can stop buying chocolate. You're right. <laughs> you can smuggle right. it in the office, but you have to pay mm -hmm. for it by yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, but on, on items where you feel you can't gain control over it, share some of the savings with the employee. In one environment, we had a janitorial service. Mm -hmm. And I believe a small business owner should look at every item. Not, it's not the front office that matters because everybody's always looking at that. It's the back office where these expenses accumulate, and they're not glamorous, so they ignore them. People are accustomed to have someone come in and clean things for them. Uh, what we did in one environment was to say, hey, the janitorial expense is this many dollars. What if you wiped your own desk clean? You might not be so as demanding if you clean it yourself than the amount of money you're willing to spend to the companies to have it cleaned for you. What if you emptied your own wastebasket in a common area instead of hiring someone to come in at night and maybe steal something from your desk? To, I mean, that happens mm -hmm. because of the anonymity of the event. Uh, do that yourself. And in this one environment, we shared the money. If, the, if it cost us $500 a month for janitorial or for a small business, $50 a month. Give half of it to the employees in exchange for their cooperation in doing it themselves. The mm -hmm. company benefits, they get half that money back that mm -hmm. otherwise was always spent and ignored, and the other half the employees get. They'll feel better that they have a chance at revenue in exchange for really token work, and they're more inclined to uh, look forward to that opportunity of how to spend it. Okay, total productive maintenance has to do from a primarily human resources perspective and how to reduce the cost of manufacturing maintenance. 
uh, a lot of times uh, manufacturers are not able to meet certain production goals uh, or, or, or the like because the equipment doesn't work. It doesn't work primarily because the people aren't involved in the process of watching out to see if it's defective or the like. And TPM addresses that issue. It's primarily a management issue and has, uh, to a light, lighter or lesser extent, uh, areas such as uh, um, uh, better cost containment through uh, negotiation of contracts with outside sources mm -hmm. and by a reduction of inventory by using common parts and the like. Typically, a capital asset will cost less to replace than to maintain. Mm. A lot of people hold on to copiers and other devices believing it's paid for and therefore it's more economical, especially under these uh, difficult times, when in fact it, usually just the opposite is correct. And lastly, uh, any dollar that goes to a vendor, it, it will never be available for wages. So as employees determine if they have to buy janitorial or soap, or, I mean, not soap, or, or flowers or the like, uh, is that money can never be considered for a bonus or anything else. It's just gone.